Hey guys, this is Harry for Hardcore Cores Updates and Reviews. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Michael Todd Snyder's Mana. Um, unfortunately, uh, it premiered at the, uh, at the Underground at the Hollywood this past weekend. Um, and I was unable to see it because I was stuck in traffic. So I was really... Uh, Really disappointed that I didn't get a chance to, to view this film because I'm a huge fan of uh, Michael's work. Um, so uh, I I messaged uh, Michael and he was kind enough to uh, send me an online screener so I could watch this film. Um, this was this this short. It's a short film. This uh, short. It's about 10 to 15 minutes long. Uh, it, it, it's going to uh, appear on the Profane exhibit. Uh, and I talked to Michael this weekend about um, if that film was ever going to be released. Uh, now, he couldn't give me very much detail on that, but he assured me that that film is going to be released. So no matter what you've been hearing, uh, he says that it's going to be released in, in, the, near, in the near future. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I just got done watching Mana. Uh, if you don't, if you're not familiar with his films, uh, Michael's films are very artistic, uh, very violent, and uh, very surreal. Um, Man is no different. Uh, he, it, 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 let, well, let me start out with the plot. It's basically this this guy in a club, uh, this real uh, kind of industrial type of club, uh, looking for some ass, and there's all these uh, beautiful women with dark. Uh, black hair um, in this club and this guy ends up uh, taking one to this back room and they, uh, one by one these these women uh, come in and fuck his brains out uh, in a very graphic scene um, and I'm not going to give the whole thing away but it basically this guy these women uh, kidnap this guy and they tie him up in these all these bondage type things um, and they start cutting off body parts one by one on this guy in very graphic detail and cooking them and eating them. It's sort of like a cult. Um, but I'm not going to give too much away. Um, the special effects in this film are just fucking phenomenal. Uh, top notch. I, the gore is so good. I have never seen gore this good in a long time in a film. Um, whoever, the people that did the effects in this film, I give you a 10 because they are just so amazing. Um, and the blood flows a lot in this film. Um, there's no turning away. The violence is very, very graphic. Um, it's very intense film. I, 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 I give this film a 10. I loved it. And if this is going to be what the type of films that are going to be on the profane exhibit, I am super stoked because... That is every gore hound's wet dream because it, it, it this film it was a short film. I wish the only beef I have with it, I wish it was longer um, because it was so amazing. The way he filmed it, the, the photography or the photography on on the film was just amazing. Um, it looked like he had a budget, he had some money. Uh, if he didn't, then he did a very good job of um, making it look like it, it was a, a, a high production uh, shoot. Um, the music was awesome. It was like this industrial stuff uh, sound. It was it was real loud. Uh, it was just an amazing film. Uh, I, I mean, even though it was a short, it, it was it was phenomenal, phenomenal. The way the angles he, sh he shoots, that I get his style, his sort of uh, artistic style that he has. Um, uh, the only comparison that I, I was thinking whenever I was seeing this film was uh, Subconscious Cruelty, uh, but but this film's better, in my opinion. And a lot of people might get mad at me for saying that, but uh, that's just how I feel. Uh, it, it, subconscious is a, if, uh, a film in itself, and it's older, but this is more of a, a, a nowadays uh, type of film that's uh, just a little bit more high-tech. Um, there's some friends of mine that are extras in this film. I didn't see one of them. I did see Mario. He was standing in the background. I, I saw him for like a split second, so that was kind of cool to see some people that I knew. Um, in this film, so um, yeah, I wish wish I knew when they were doing the um, the scenes for it down in Pittsburgh because this film was uh, made in Pittsburgh. So I wish I was able to uh, go down and see it, but and maybe be an extra. But maybe next time. Uh,
but yeah, like I said, really looking forward to the Profane Exhibit. I, I won a copy of this film. Uh, it was amazing. I give it a 10, a very high rating, which I rarely do. Um, if you get a chance, check out Michael's other films at uh, maggotfilms.com. Uh, they're amazing. Uh, anything he does is, is very, very good, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I think that he's a very artistic director, and um, I, I'm really looking forward to some of his films in the future. I mean... Uh, I think that he has a, a, a long career in film if he, if he wants to. Um, yeah, I know I was talking to him at the festival and he sounded like he needed a break because he's been doing all these projects, but I think that um, I think that he will do more stuff in the future. So that's my review of MANA. Uh, I, I will be getting some more reviews out this week. I'm totally swamped. I really need to get my ass in gear. So um, with that, have a glory one.